Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome to your almost personal general love reading for August 2022. I hope that you are doing well. First, we are going to be using some oracle cards just to grab the overall theme and energy between you and a significant person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with this month. And then we are going to be diving deep with tarot. As I draw the oracle cards, I just want to quickly remind you that this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If the message does not seem to fit at all, please do not try to force it. Instead, be sure to check out the readings for your other signs or the signs of the person on your mind. Also, please feel free to swap the roles. I could be talking about you or your person because I am simply reading energies. And although the connections that primarily pop up here often reflect a romantic tone, it doesn't always have to be. The energies that show up may be between you and anyone that you feel a connection with. So yes, love and romance, of course, but it can also be friendships, family, coworkers, that situationship that has just been driving you wild, or even a new potential interest. So remember, anything can show up here. Uh, if this reading happens to resonate with you and you would like to join me over at the extended reading where we dive even deeper into the details, you can find the link below in the description box. You can also find a preview of the extended at the end of this video, and I will also be going over everything that will be included in that extended at the end of this video. So Scorpio, we have communication is key, new moon in Gemini. We also have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take destruction contemplation unawakened and separation so there's a lot of active energy here scorpio i'm sensing a significant person you may be connecting with this month maybe bringing in effort toward communication this month there was some sort of worry conflict or ending in the past that may have really put you in your head there may have been a lack of closure around a particular situation. You may have been left in the dark regarding what exactly went on or why. You also may have Gemini in your chart. Maybe your person does, but that is definitely not necessary. But this card, communication is key, is really bringing attention to the importance of communication this month and clarity around particular questions through effective communication. Scorpio, I feel like this bond with this person was very meaningful for you. So whatever happened here, I'm sensing this, this energy that you were blindsided and you just may have not seen something coming. And that hurts, especially Scorpio, if there was a sense of trust this month the energy around this situation is very much charged so there are developments either up front and personal or behind the scenes so scorpio what i would like to do is get out the tarot and see what is really going on here all right so scorpio sun moon rising and venus what is going on here we are going to be taking a look at the situation what's helping or hindering this connection and situation, the past and what has led up to the current situation. We're also going to be taking a look at you and your person, including feelings and actions they may be taking, and then the potential near future. So let's get into this. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. The Fool, Aquarian energy for some, it's Aries. King of Cups in the reverse. You may be dealing with a water sign, another Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but that is not necessary. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, though. Someone wanting to bring someone in from out of the cold. Nine of Swords in the reverse. So I do like this because someone is finally getting out of their head. And I feel it has to do with this communication. Page of Pentacles. I'm loving this. Let me fix the table very quickly. 
So Scorpio, I am sensing that in the past with the King of Cups in the reverse, someone may have been holding back at least emotionally. Someone may have been acting a bit selfish or at the very least, the emotional realms of this connection were just not navigated effectively. The Two of Pentacles in the reverse points to a mismanagement imbalance or the sense of things just getting out of hand and you may have been experiencing that in real time. Someone may have not been prioritizing the right things and someone may have been acting a bit too carefree, okay? However, the Fool indicates the desire for a fresh beginning. So whether this is a reconciliation after a breakup or a simple end to conflict, the possibility of a fresh start is here. Scorpio, I feel like what has gone on has caused you a lot of stress and you've taken on a lot on your shoulders. And I'm sensing that like all Scorpios, you are very intuitive. So you may have sensed things start to go downhill before it was blatantly obvious. If this was not a legitimate breakup, you may have been contemplating walking away from this connection or contemplating whether the other person would. The thing here is that your person is being represented by the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, which tells me that there is a desire to wrap whatever this chaos is up and bring you in from out of the cold. And this will allow the opportunity for communication, which is also confirmed by this page of pentacles. The page of pentacles is dedicated and loyal. And although it's just a page, this does often represent some sort of message from someone who does have positive intentions. So overall, I feel like whatever this is, is being resolved and there is this energy of coming back together in some way shape or form okay so what i want to do here and i do i do believe that this page is the one who is making the effort okay so and i'm actually getting major chills you guys i don't know if you can see that um but that's usually a message from spirit but what I want to do, Scorpio, is I want to clarify all of this and see what is really going on, and then we'll dive even deeper. So Scorpio, oh and by the way, I did turn some of these cards over just so that the table does not get too overwhelming for your eyes or mine, but I did draw everything on camera for transparency and we will go through everything one by one. But Scorpio, I am sensing that there's this energy of like, I just got this image of something spilling over and I'm getting major chills. It's like tea spilling over or a cup, a glass, a beverage, something spilling over and something is exposed, something is revealed, some sort of chaos, something being mismanaged, revealed something. And for some of you, just for some of you, this could have been regarding a third party. But remember, a third party can be a person, place, thing, concept, idea. It does not have to be a romantic person or a person at all but what i'm sensing is that a lack of proper management or balance revealed something here about someone you may be dealing with a capricorn or an aries or an earth sign virgo capricorn taurus but that is not necessary but someone may have been acting a bit selfish okay Someone may have been very focused on themselves. I do want to pull a few oracle cards here just to get up. That is not supposed to be in there. It's a different card. 
to get some more information here. Tell me more about this, please. Numbing. Return. Divine timing. Soulmate at the bottom of the deck. Wow. And when I asked more about this, three of wands and the six of pentacles. So there was some sort of possible juggling or mismanagement. Something got out of hand that cleared away illusions and brought in some sort of realization, seeing through the confusion, working through the confusion about a particular situation and someone's own selfish ways. And with the emperor, the emperor often represents someone who, uh, well, it can represent unexpressed emotions, but it also represents someone in authority, uh, but someone who is very much about making decisions out of logic. This is someone who can make the right decisions regardless. Uh, you know, just what is right, what is wrong. They can make the tough decisions. Okay, so I, I feel like this is really about understanding and seeing some sort of issue with clear eyes. And I'm sensing here that someone may be wanting to reach out. Someone may be wanting to send that message to talk with you, some sort of equal give and take, because the Six of Pentacles is very much transactional. So for some of you, Scorpio, you may be, and I'm actually getting chills here, so this may be someone's story. Someone may be seeing the truth about some sort of third party and really realizing something here making some sort of decision out of logic about this third party queen of pentacles in the reverse and so now someone may be wanting to possibly return here but we'll have to see what this is really all about because in the past i'm sensing that there was definitely a situation that was a bit imbalanced Okay, there may have been extremes, some toxicity may have been involved, but there was really a need for balance and healing. But it may not have been possible if you were dealing with someone who wasn't willing to share their emotions and they were not willing to share exactly what was going on. And it's almost this energy, because we still have the Knight of Wands here, riding the wave, getting through the rocky roads, the humps, because the wheel is still turning and someone here is putting effort towards something. Let's grab a few oracle cards here. Received. Crossroads. Refocus. Abandoned at the bottom of the deck. So some sort of message was received here or something was received that put someone at a crossroads. If this is making sense for anyone, please let me know below. I'm simply reading the tarot and this is a bit of a confusing reading. So please let me know what is going on here. I just feel this chaotic energy in the past, ups and downs. And as time went, it was really about putting in the effort towards something. Tell me more about this, please. Eight of Pentacles, please. Wow. 
Wow, eight of cups in the reverse, the devil in the reverse. So getting out of something toxic here. Scorpio, I am sensing that you may hear from this person or this may have already happened. That's really gonna put you on a crossroads and ask you if you wanna go towards this person or refocus on your own. But there is this need to let to gain control by letting go of control here with the devil in the reverse. Because there was something, something, there may have been something cyclical here kind of going back and forth, but there is definitely this energy of these ups and downs that someone is dealing with. But action is still being taken, the wheel is still turning, effort is being put in. And I do feel like someone is doing the inner work here to let go of something. And by doing so, that's bringing in this understanding of someone's own selfish ways. Because with the Fool, the Two of Cups in the reverse, the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, there's a new beginning here. There's an opportunity for a new beginning regarding this disconnect that happened. But this King of Pentacles, and you may be dealing with an earth sign, they're very much stuck in their head. Now, I'm going to put it out there, Scorpio. This person either had a disconnect and a breakup with another person, and now they're want wanting to come in towards you. Or there was a disconnect between you and this person previously and they're wanting to come back in but whatever this is there is this fresh start i do want to get more information about this admired someone someone admires you here Divine, so you may be dealing with your divine masculine or divine counterpart. Spring. So this person and regret at the bottom of the deck, you're dealing with someone here who is really seeing their own ways and how they've contributed to some sort of issue. For some of you, you may be dealing with someone, like I said, where there's been cycles here. Someone is trying to numb a return but it's, it's with divine timing. And I feel as though you have seen this situation get out of hand. It's like, you know this person pretty well. It's the sense that you may feel like this person is internally a bit of a mess. Let's check out your person. Because this person they are looking at the past here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the Five of Swords in the reverse, and the Sun in the reverse. You could be dealing with a Leo, but that's not necessary. Um, is someone here, they're not feeling too good. This person is wanting reconciliation. They're wanting to be on the same team. Now, this person is operating from a sense of insecurity and instability, and they know that when they come in, they, you may not believe them. This person knows that they are at a disadvantage because they are looking at the past and they are seeing what happened here. But the five of pentacles in the reverse is a sign of recovery. And because it is pentacles, it also indicates and it's also a hint to learn from the past. And the nine of pentacles in the reverse, everything's not perfect, but it's not a total loss. And so it's almost the sense and major chills again, you guys, this person wants to see what is possible here to salvage. Can this connection be salvaged? Pull some oracle cards here. New direction. 
inner child. Commitment. Shadow work. Union at the bottom of the deck. So this person is wanting to take this into a new direction. Okay, this person may have been acting a bit childish in the past, but now they are following their inner child. They are no longer denying themselves of their wishes deep down, but it does take some shadow work, which is really getting in touch with oneself deep down inside to work through certain blockages, negative patterns, negative mindsets. In order for this person to really move into some sort of commitment here, there is a need for this person to work through a lot within. But this person is wanting to go in a new direction. They're wanting to bring you in from out of the cold. And for some of you, this person could have reached out and it could be you who is trying to numb this. Okay, take what resonates. But there's something here where it's gonna pop at some point. The, the balloon is gonna pop, whether this person is trying to hold back or you are trying to hold back and not respond to some sort of message that you received, something may pop here if this is your reading. I'm really sensing that there's something about timing here, okay? Someone may still be healing from something. Unavailable. Forgiveness. Here and now. Friendship at the bottom of the deck. So someone may be wanting to come in and apologize. Someone may be wanting your forgiveness, especially uh, since we saw those cards here. Someone may be reaching out. So you, with this unavailable, this is very much a timing card for me. But I'm really feeling that this person was not able to give you what it is that you really needed in the past. And now they are desiring forgiveness in the here and now because there are some realizations here around the meaning of this connection and being in the here and now and not really looking too much at the past. But I'm gonna say that whatever happened in the past is definitely going to have to be talked through and resolved in some way, shape or form. But I feel like this person they were not available in the past and they're desiring forgiveness. And this may have had to do regarding commitment. This person may not have desired commitment at this time. They may have settled for some sort of third party. Now this could have been career, finances. This could have been romantically another person, okay? It could have been anything, but whatever this was, it made them unavailable or they simply were unavailable because they were not prioritizing certain things. They were not prioritizing you. They were prioritizing their own selfish ways. And now the emperor is showing up because this person, there's this realization of taking accountability for that. And it's not gonna be all, you know, unicorns and rainbows. because I feel like this person, they put you through a lot here. And you may not know that this person, if this was a third party, person, place, and concept idea, that they've left that third party, or they've made particular realizations through this inner work, or possibly just growing up. For some of you, it may have been several years, or a, a certain amount of time has gone by since you've really talk to this person and so there may have been this space for growth for some of you let's take a look at you here 
You are being represented by the Nine of Swords in the reverse, the Seven of Wands in the reverse, the Six of Wands in the reverse, and the Four of Wands in the reverse. So you, you are not sure about this connection, okay? There's a part of you that may want to talk with this person, and deep down you may feel a bit restless once this person reaches out. Major chills, you guys. But you don't feel like this connection is really solid. And whatever this person put you through, let me, let's get more here. Wow. Okay, so Cancerian Pisces energy showing up. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So I'm sensing that you have worked on emotionally releasing this person. Okay, you've done a lot here and there's a lot coming up for you. There's still a lot of confusion around this connection. I don't feel like you had clarity you know, when this person walked away or left in the past, I don't think that there was total clarity in what happened, okay? And I feel like you have built yourself up so well since. You've worked on yourself, you've healed. And because you are in such a good place now, Scorpio, you're going around and around and around in your head. Okay, you, and if that's not the case, you're simply feeling a bit indecisive because you may not know exactly how to feel about this person. Sure, possibly some time has passed, but I do feel like this person did quite of a number to you, you know? And so I think that you are sticking to your intuition and you are sticking to your values, your belief system to what really is in alignment for you? At the same time, you may not know or think that this person desires commitment. Let's pull a few oracle cards here and see what this is about. And for some of you, it might be like, no, no, I don't want anything with this person but I kind of want to entertain this a little bit. I kind of want to see where they're at. I kind of want to, you know, there might be a part of uh, a part of you that's just curious here. Yeah, the answer is no, like I said, material world. Big dreams. Solitude. Purge. So yeah, you may be very much focused on your own success, doing well in your career and so forth. You've got big dreams. And when you really disconnected from this person, you may have just found a new part of yourself and just grown so much that you're totally fine, you know, on your own. You may have really worked on purging a lot from your life. And so I feel like you may be at a bit of a crossroads here where, you know, you don't trust this connection. Be but I think it's because you are, you are feeling as though it may end up letting you down anyway because this person let you down in the past. Because like I said, with whatever happened here, you may not have seen it coming, like I said in the beginning of the reading, and that may have really, really hurt Scorpio, especially if there was a sense of trust and they broke that. So I do feel like there is this opportunity However, 
Yeah, time apart. Addiction. Regret. Release. Protected at the bottom of the deck. You are safe and divinely guided. So, Scorpio, I feel like there was some time apart that really allowed you to come to your own answers and clarity. Okay, you may have found your own closure in the situation. As it says, some distance will help bring clarity. So I do feel like you have detached here. And for some of you, this person could have been dealing with some sort of addiction, person, place, thing, concept, idea, uh, but that's not 100% necessary. But there may have been some sort of quality about this person that you may have felt was just not in alignment with you, okay? And for some of you, you may have felt like this person was, that you were addicted to this person, you know, like you couldn't keep yourself away before. For some of you, there may have been some obsessive tendencies or like you just couldn't get them off your mind. And now looking back at it, you may have regretted how hung up you were on this person, but don't regret that because Scorpio, you did exactly what you felt was right at the time with the information that you had. You were just being you and acting in alignment and acting with integrity. You were doing what felt right at the time. So don't, you know, dishonor that, okay? You may be regretting, though, getting so wrapped up in your mind and your head and so I do feel like you have spent a lot of time letting go after all of this clarity came in. And through the solitude, if this person walked away, if this, they abandoned you, you were really able to purge a lot of that. Okay. Let me grab one more card here. Yeah, so here's the thing, Scorpio. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so here, here's the thing. For some of you, you may be open to talking with this person, like I said. However, with this emperor out, you're going to be showing up as the empress. And you may give a little bit, a little message. It's just a page. It's, it's just a page. And you may be very much open to receiving, it, receiving an apology. But with the king of swords here, you're not going to be, you know, mushy, gushy, lovey-dovey. This is some pretty strong but beautiful energy scorpio you are willing to set necessary boundaries communicate without getting swept up again because i do feel like you are feeling a bit restless and a little bit curious about this person and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to jump into anything but i definitely feel like you are curious to see where this could possibly go or lead what this person wants but you know what to look out for because you know that this person has dealt with either commitment issues or some sort of addiction or something that was not in alignment before. And you are not making the mistake again to assume that this person is suddenly in alignment. For some of you, you may not even care or even want to date this person. Okay, because you just may be like, this person does not meet my standards. They probably never will type thing. But I do feel like if this is your reading, for some of you, you are willing to talk with this person, but you don't have much hope for it going anywhere. And if this person has reached out to you previously and you have not responded, it may have been maybe because the timing wasn't right or because you just felt something within you that you just didn't want to, you didn't feel comfortable, you didn't feel safe but this person is likely to come in and make that effort and try again
okay? This person may try again. You may be thinking about it. Because return divine timing, this may not have happened yet, or this person may have come in once and you did not respond, but there's something coming in regarding effort and communication, okay? So here's the thing. Let's check out the potential outcome because, I mean, we've got the Page of Pentacles. So here is this, this energy that I'm really getting here with this person coming in again. Well, coming in again or the first time. Wanting to communicate, desiring some sort of reconciliation here. And then possibly, then possibly waiting. Looking at this from different perspectives. And there may be delays here, but ultimately there is this desire and this energy for healing, wish fulfillment. So I do feel like there's some sort of communication and this person may let you know that they're going to give you your time, okay? That things don't need to be rushed here with the hanged man and the eight of wands in the reverse to go towards this healing. And with the page of pentacles, I mean, like I said, he is dedicated, he is loyal. He's not just going to send it once and walk away, send a message once or try something once and walk away. He's diligent. He's going to keep working on it. Barrier, twin flame, family, cycles. Like I said, I felt like for some of you, this could have been very cyclical. But I do feel like there may be some sort of barrier here, but I feel like it would be on your end wondering if you want to go towards this person or not for some of you sure it could be a family barrier like you're unable to maybe you've moved on okay maybe just for some of you just for some of you you're in a you're in like the best relationship right now and although you're curious you're not gonna you're not gonna entertain it okay but for those of you who are single and so forth you may just you may be curious about this person why they're reaching out what they want especially if it's been a while Okay. So I do feel like this person I feel like this is what this message playfulness retreat love let your friends help you so you may be talking with friends or family about this trying to figure out what to do here or they may be trying to figure out what to do because i do feel like they're gonna and their fr what their friends may say here is to send another message and let you know that they're just gonna give you your time okay um that you can take your time because i do feel like this person's trying to get over this barrier especially if you haven't responded or if you don't know if you would respond and for those of you who would respond off the bat if this person is trying to get you back they may be still talking to their friends about that if it's quite slow on your end with responses and so forth that's just for some of you it's the ball's really in your court here scorpio depending on how you were going to respond to this but i do feel like this person is going to come in and they're going to say something here something along the lines as i said that they're going to give you some time but they want to heal this but they're going to give you your time your space so that you can take your time regarding coming back together and their desire to heal this. So that effort's going to be co coming in through communication. And this could be the first time. This could be the second time. But they may come in in a light way. Because this is just a page, remember. Plus we have playfulness. And then they may retreat. They may pull back a little bit. 
but we, we've got true love. So this is telling me that this person, even though they may leave it at that, they may, they're may they not just going to wander off. You're still going to be on their mind. They're still going to be thinking about you type thing. Okay. So the opportunity is there if you would like to take this person up on the offer. And again, it's going to be really up to you, Scorpio, and what you want to do. But this is a lot of beautiful energy. And I'm definitely sensing that, you know, you saw this person in the past. Um, it's just, it's a bit of a chaotic energy that this person put you through. So I understand why you may have your wall up, your barrier up, contemplating whether or not, you know, you want to even talk with this person or even open up that door. And you may be battling, you know, between curiosity and um, just keeping that door shut. So that's what I'm really, really getting for you. And um, you may not even know if this person was in another connection. You may not know about what happened there, that this person's no longer with them and so forth. But there's definitely something, like I said, why this person's coming back in. They've been doing some sort of shadow work. They may have moved from non-committal towards desiring a relationship through the inner work, seeing the, seeing through the illusions, seeing through the confusion, seeing their selfish ways, acknowledging it, or seeing the truth about some sort of third party that they decided to walk away from. So there's a lot going on. And if they are walking away from a third party, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of growth that stemmed from whatever that connection was that kind of kicked this person in the butt to, to do some growing up. So I do feel like there's been a lot of lessons learned. But again, it's going to be up to you and whether or not you want to open that door. But um, Scorpio, we are going to be taking this over to the extended. We are going to be exploring all sorts of things such as this person's feelings, you know, how they really feel deep down about you, about this connection, their true intentions for coming in, you know, what is it that they're looking for? We're also going to be exploring particular actions they may be taking towards you, including communication and what that may sound or look like. We're also going to be exploring what you may not know about this person or situation that you should know, including any sort of blocks. And this is helpful information because remember, this is a general reading, but this particular part of the reading regarding what you may not know is helpful information to put in your back pocket so you can check that off your list, things you should be looking out for, things to consider, and so forth. We're also going to be exploring the potential future. So whatever happened here, we're going to expand on that and see what else there may be here, okay? What may come after this? What is the true potential here um, if you do decide to go towards this person? And that very much wraps in to their intentions as well. And then we're also going to be exploring some guidance and advice so that you can feel confident navigating the situation, whether you are in current communication with this person or not, okay? So that is what we are going to be looking into. And uh, the link for that is in the description box below. Just a quick reminder, once you go through that process, all you need to do is hit back to merchant or return to merchant. It will take you directly to the reading. If for some reason you lose the link in the future or you just can't find it, no worries. You will receive a link in your email from a third party called Send Owl. It will always be there. It never expires and it may take up to 10 minutes to receive. So just wanted to put that out there. Again, this was a bit of a confusing reading for me, so if it did resonate for you, please comment below. Let me know how it did. I do read all my comments and love, love, love reading how these uh, storylines are fitting in with your life, Scorpio. I know you have been through a lot. There's a lot of purging, a lot of letting go uh, at this time, and Scorpios are really dealing with a lot of shakeups right now because this is like the prime time for transformation for both Scorpio and Taurus placements. So, um, but that's for another time. That's more of astrology and so forth. But um, this is 
This was uh, a very, very interesting reading. So again, let me know below how this has fit into your life. I hope to see you over at the extended. If not, then I hope that this reading was able to provide you with enough uh, insight and valuable information. But uh, yeah, Scorpio, thank you so much. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Your support means more to me than you will ever know. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye. This indicates meaningful history, regardless of the duration. There was something, so it's like they just want to have that silence broken if this person has not reached out to you yet. Reconciliation. You have done a lot of hard work here. You've, the, everything's in your favor here. Sagittarius, it's, it's going to be on your terms. I don't think I've ever had a reading like this before.